big vaccine announcement from the state health department. Today, it announced the expansion of vaccination eligibility in phase 1B. Starting February 8th, people 65 and older, frontline critical workers, including first responders, teachers, and grocery store workers will be eligible to receive the vaccine. Way 31's Max Cohan joins us live in Huntsville. He explains why the state made the move and what it means for those groups. Yeah, guys, with the inclusion of these groups, there are now about 1.5 million people in the state who are eligible for the vaccine, though fewer than 775,000 doses have been delivered. The expansion is part of an effort to get those who are at the highest risk for contraction vaccinated first. And then when we look at the morbidity in the person 65 and above, as well as potential mortality, which still is higher in 75 and above, I mean, these are all factors that you have to balance to be able to vaccinate everyone that we possibly can. Dr. Karen Landers of the Alabama Department of Public Health says while vaccine supply is still limited in the state, the health department felt it was important to address people who are in higher risk situations or have frequent exposures. Aside from people 65 and up, that group now includes the education sector, food and agriculture workers, and postal service workers, among others. AARP has made a nationwide push for people 65 and older to have access to the vaccine. Candy Williams, the state director for AARP Alabama, says people in the age group have been almost desperate for the chance to roll up their sleeves, adding that Friday's news will make a big difference. We had a, a member actually say that she has not hugged her grandkids. And so that if she was vaccinated, she would feel a little more safe being around her grandkids. And that's something that she desperately misses. With thousands in the current phases still waiting for their doses, Landers says expansion will look different all across the state. In some instances, some counties may be further along than others due to their uptake of vaccine, may be able to be vaccinating in uh, this group earlier than others. But then there will be counties that will still be very, very involved with their 75 and above uh, trying to get those persons covered. Now, while this news might be exciting, it doesn't necessarily mean that the vaccine will be immediately available. In fact, Huntsville Hospital said today that the new group should not anticipate getting vaccinated for several weeks due to the high demand and uncertain supply. Reporting live in Huntsville, Max Cohan, Way 31 News. Thank you, Max.